150 to 200 dollars of gross revenue a day for those four machines combined the crane machine i would say on average is doing like 200 a day give or take sometimes it's been a little less sometimes it's been a little more so that one machine like i said is doing the same if not more than those yeah so those four machines are doing 150 to 200 dollars collectively a day while the crane machine itself does 200 dollars by by its loans itself you got it. yep gotcha yep. i couldn't have done it without you really appreciate that Pretty exciting numbers, right? Well, let me break this call down for you real quick and I'll get you right to the call. My client Joe came to me originally because he had purchased five healthy Uvendi machines who buy their machines from Sega Manufacturing and where he was only making around $1,000 to $1,200 a month in total revenue between all five vending machines. He had a lead to go into a high school, but he had a couple different issues. Number one issue is the Federal Nutritional Guidelines for Public Schools, where he had no knowledge around that, but then he had a specific situation situation that was pretty unique that he needed some strategy on so he ended up investing in the vending accelerator so first off you're gonna find out what happens to your revenue when you place vending machines at a public school and then secondly you're gonna find out what happens when you take healthy you vending machines which are manufactured through Sega manufacturing and you replace them with crane vending machines which is where all of my clients buy their vending machines a crane merchandising system makes a vending machine that's far bigger way more capacity much better technology so you'll hear the differences there between the healthy you vending machines manufactured by Sega and the crane vending machines and what happens to his revenue then after he does that. Stick around to the end. We'll talk to you about how exactly you can work with me and we can help you do the same exact thing. Big man. Joe. The man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. I appreciate that. How are you? I'm doing A+. Plus. You're doing A+. I love to hear that, man. Included in all that A+, plus is an A+, plus vending machine business now. Dude, I mean, it's... Like I said, I'm trying not to be uh, negative about it, but just the fact that I got with Healthy You started me on this little journey I'm on, but I only really need, dude, I think if I stuck two of those crane machines in there, I, I think I'd be at 500 bucks a day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, and only two machines. Yeah, I mean, well. And I think I, if I put three machines in there, I think yeah. it would be 700 a day. Yeah. Maybe not, maybe not, it's, maybe it's not that linear, but I don't know, it's... That's the difference. Let's take it from the top, Joe. So you came to me, uh, gosh, well, what was it? We, we actually started to talk on a private group on Facebook yep, and um, you started to ask questions about, was it locations? Yeah, we started chatting about whether or not a high school would be a good fit and just the, the, the business around vending in high schools. Yeah, oh, that's right. And I was like, bro, that's like where you want to yep. be. I go, and, and then I, and I actually remember then from there, we just started to chat a little bit on Facebook. I gave you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of advice. Right? Yep. Yep. 100%. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And at that time, you had how many machines on the ground? I had six machines on the ground, all with Healthy You, yep. their, their Sega model. Yep. Yep. The Healthy You Sega models, you were averaging, what was it, if I'm not mistaken, around about what, $200 a month on average? About 100, 200 bucks per machine. Yep. Yeah, you're around $1,000 a month in revenue, give or take, Correct. between six machines. Yep. Gotcha. Correct. Now you had an opportunity or at least at least a lead to go into a high school. And at that point, and what were the locations that you were in at that time specifically? So I was in three retail locations, like back of the house for their staff. I mean, decent, in my opinion back then, decent sized staff, <laughs> 50, 100 people. Yep. I had one, in, two in corporate environments and then one in like a large like business building. Yep. In like the lot, in like the gym area. So yeah, so all, all corporate type stuff. Corporate type stuff. Yeah, which is, you know, th those are all for me when I look at business corporate, you know, those are all case by case. There's a lot of questions that have to be answered in order to even consider because that's what you end up seeing is like not high sales because frankly, you know, adults can do whatever they want and businesses and corporations a lot of times bring in a lot of benefits for employees like free drinks, and free meals, and coolers full of water and different things like that that you have to take into consideration. And pr and probably the best one that I was in was like 150, 200 person manufacturing group that I th actually think would have been a half decent one but I wasn't the only vendor in you, there. Yep, they yep. Had, they had other vending machines, which again, as a rookie, I didn't realize how important that was. Yep, but, yep, yeah. absolutely. That's why, yeah, absolutely. Removing existing vending machines or finding where there are no vending machines is definitely key in both yeah. situations. Now, so let's talk about the high school real quick because I remember yes. this. You came to me, uh, the high school was jaded, right? 
Yeah, they had some, I would say, old school vending. Like, it was pretty much only drinks, all cash, all coins, managed by someone either in the staff or I didn't get too deep into who was doing it. But yeah, it's some stuff that was going on that wasn't good. And they basically shut down vending for a couple years. Yeah. Yeah, so they didn't trust vending machine companies. They had some uh, skepticism. So we had to get pretty creative with that and ultimately uh, allow them to feel safe emotionally and psychologically logically that they can actually trust a vending machine company again right yeah for sure and this this one was very good because i had a good relationship and into the school beauty of that is that obviously sometimes a lot of people have connections with inside of their networks locally right and when we're able to partner together with clients who have that then ultimately if we can present to them the right proposal right or irresistible offer and put that together and collectively come up with a strategy that answers their concerns at least makes them feel comfortable enough to say okay yep you know what? This does sound different. Everything you're saying sounds good, right? But we believe yep. actions over words. And uh, ultimately, you and I were able to come up with a uh, proposal and a strategy that yep. worked. Yep, 100%. Cool. Yes, and it's uh, helpful with that. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without you, really. Appreciate that. So, and with that said, what was it again? 1,300 students? Yeah, so it's about 1,500 students. 1,500. And I'm, yeah, just uh, 9 through 12, public high school. Yep, they let me keep the machines on all day, but yeah, about 1,500 kids. Yep, and then having to meet the federal nutritional guidelines so you can be on all day. And then with that, you initially brought over the Healthy You Sega machines, right? Yeah, basically moved five machines into the high school. Correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, because you'd never been in a school before. I go, Joe, these machines are going to go bonkers. And obviously, the fear of the unknown, you don't know, right? You didn't put all those that many machines in it initially. How many did you install? No, I did five. Five right away. I'm sorry. I take the back. I did four right away. Yeah, so I start with four, then I'm then I moved to five. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And I remember that. Yeah, because I knew you didn't do all of them. I was like, and I told you, yeah, Joe, there's yeah, fifteen hundred students. You know, normally we would recommend three crane machines, but because the healthy you Sega machines uh, are so much smaller, yeah, so much smaller. Um, yeah. you're gonna wanna have to put you might as well just put you know four machines in there. And I remember your text yep. message from day one, which you mm-hmm. you sent me a sick uh, a sick emoji because you did three hundred and forty seven in day day one and you're like is this real day one yeah 347 yeah and i checked on you on day two and you're like it was even better you did 250 yeah. product sales 450 some odd dollars or something like that in revenue in one stinking day which you were yeah. used to doing in one month with all six machines well yeah pretty much yeah, so i think i mean i could look back but just rough numbers i couldn't have done it without you really appreciate that i think the first week or so i did as much or more revenue in one week than i did in one month easy easy yeah easy so then fast forward from there, at some point, we always talked about the crane machines, knowing that they were bigger, hold more drinks, very important, uh, just that bigger capacity. And, and overall, uh, we felt a, uh, a much yep. better machine, specifically for high foot traffic locations. At that point, because ultimately you were doing about, before the crane machine uh, that you installed, what were you doing, you know, once you got your product mixed down and everything else, and you're, you're getting into your rhythm, what were you generating with the school overall revenue wise with all yeah. of the Sega Healthy U vending machines? in there so so i would say it would range anywhere from like 3500 a month to like 5500 and a lot of it would be just whether what month it was so i would say on average you probably talk about 4500 a month between all those machines and it's yeah 95 percent of my revenue right now is from the high school but i would say plus or minus 4500 a month in revenue in revenue and that 95 percent of that being in the high school itself so let's stick just oh, yeah. to the high school yep. so you're saying so what then 4000 4300 4300 with yeah and again that's 4300 4300 machines with those five healthy you vending sega machines then yep. what was it two months ago you decided to take the crane plunge yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah so my my strategy is out. so i have a, a you know not a ton of money but you know money invested in these healthy you machines so i'm going to keep sure. them but my strategy is to move them to much smaller sites they're, just, they're better for smaller yep. foot traffic sites so i got into a, a very small library i moved one of my sega machines out there and then i took the plunge with crane oh man and I think we had it fully installed in August, right before school year started. Yep. And then what happened? Yeah. So it, we put it, um, we put it in the gym area. So it's it's available to students all day. Plus, it's available to the events, basketball games, volleyball games, sure. swim swim meets, whatever. So just logistically, it holds way more. Number one. So it's I can put so much more product in it, and it's way easier 
to fill. Drinks are so much easier to fill. You can have so many more drinks in there. Yeah. It's been, that's been a game changer. And the technology is not, I mean, not even really close. Like the yeah. touch screen is beautiful. It's very easy to use. Yep. I'm noticing far less jams from the kids. I keep some cash on site there. So if there's jams, like the students can go to the like admin. They're never coming from that crane machine. It's always from the other machines. Yep. So yeah, so that's the logistics side of it. In terms of like a sales side of it, that one machine does the same or more than the other four combined. In revenue? In, in, in revenue, yep. Yeah, compared to the other four of the Healthy You vending Sega machines that are much smaller because of the higher capacity of that machine. Break that down in numbers for me. So I would say on average, so the other four Healthy You machines, I probably do gross revenue anywhere from like total for those machines, anywhere from like 150 to 200 dollars of gross revenue a day for those four machines combined. The crane machine, I would say on average, is doing like 200 a day, give or take. Sometimes it's been a little less, sometimes it's been a little more. So that one machine, like I said, is doing the same, if not more, than those. Yeah, so those four machines are doing 150 to $200 collectively a day, while the crane machine itself does two hundred dollars by by its loans itself? You got it. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. I give you exact numbers if you need it, but just spitballing. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. It's like clockwork, really. So then that means collectively you're doing almost four hundred dollars a day yeah. with that, and so ultimately now you've pretty much doubled your revenue. It sounds like, right? Because that. Yeah. So last last month was my first full month. I had my highest revenue month since I've, I've only been in business probably 15, 16 months. But yeah, my highest revenue month. I think last month I did about sixty three hundred dollars of revenue. Wow. So bringing in a bigger crane machine uh, at a high school and uh, where you had the healthy you vending Sega machines because of the bigger capacity, uh, almost doubled your revenue. Being able to restock products, specifically the drinks, easier, allows you to get in and out in front of that machine much faster as well, right? Oh, much faster. I can put different products in there, more selection. Like I said, the snacks, I haven't noticed as much. I think the snack mechanism on the Sega are all right, but the drinks, oh my God, I think they jam more than I know. Yeah. I think things get stuck more than I know, and I think I'm not able to recognize the revenues fast on the Segas because I think they get stuck and then the kids get mad. Yep. But I haven't seen that on the crane. Docking more, more variety, more liability. So I think all of the above is just shooting up the revenue numbers. Yeah, and one big thing on that too is that what we've done, and I don't know if you recognize this or not, but uh, our, my operations manager, Brian, when it came to the drinks that we go into schools, which is a lot of those juice boxes, right? Yeah. And they actually don't have a coil for those products. So we actually, I don't know if you know this or not, we actually were able to do a lot of just basically assessment on the coils with Crane and we identified that their six count chip coil, the left hand one specifically, is perfect for the juice boxes. So that we didn't have any hangups because the coils that Crane recommended does cause problems. So we found that out. So we went back to Crane and said, hey, because of our relationship with them, you know, they'll do things that they won't do for other companies. Like, hey, can we get a chip coil here? They're like, what? I'm like, yes, we need a chip coil here. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I guess we can do that. You know, and of course we over went over why. And that's where we don't have those issues with our clients because we offer so many of the juice box size items specifically for schools and students. So I'm glad yeah, to hear awesome. that for you. And of course, the Sherven guaranteed product delivery also does that as it gets into play when it recognizes if a product does get hung up, which of course the healthy U vending Sega machines do not have. Mm -hmm. Cool. 100%, correct. Awesome, brother. I love it, man. Yeah. You could ultimately do what? You think three crane machines eventually there? My goal would be to get all of those healthy you machines out of the high school and into like the 50 to 200 user facilities. Sure. So I only have to go out there once or twice a month. It's yep. easy. It's what they're designed for. Uh, Absolutely. It's easy. Dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, like I said, I'm, that's the only part I'm bummed about about the healthy you is that really is not designed for this high school stuff. But anyway. Not, not that you overpaid for them by $5,000? <laughs> Yeah, that um, <laughs> I'm just so kidding. Yeah, I mean, I'm not kidding, yeah, but yeah. I'll say three thousand dollars make myself feel better. There you um, go. Three, three grand so over pay. Can't. Like you said at the beginning of the call, had you not gone through that okay. experience with Healthy You, you wouldn't have been here today as well. And ultimately, yeah, yeah. it comes down to every experience is a lesson, right? One yeah. way or another, it's a, it's a massive win or a lesson. There are no losses in my mind. It's win or learn. And we're here today, which I appreciate your confidence in me and Vending Accelerator because after you had already had six machines on the ground, only averaging a thousand dollars a month between 
between six machines. You invested more because you believed in what I was saying yep. and what I was teaching and, and what I had in place with Vending Accelerator. And frankly, you, you know, as much as I helped you, ultimately you helped yourself because you just took what I taught you inside the course, my expertise and strategy with you and getting together on phone calls and you presented it, you did the work and now you're reaping yeah. the benefits. 100%, but yeah, like I said, very grateful for your, all your help and yeah. yeah and and that will be the goal. I would love to get at least two crane machines in the high school. I think two or three is the sweet spot. You're doing $150 to $200, you said, between the three Healthy You Vending Sega machines, but you're doing $200 a month from the crane machine. That'll put you, get rid of those three and put in the two crane yep. machines. That should put you at about $8,000 a month from yep. one high school. Heck of a success story for my client, Joe. Well, we've got clients like that all across the United States, but that's what happens when you actually place large vending machines through crane merchandising systems at high foot traffic locations like a public school versus healthy you vending machines that were originally only making about $1,200 between five machines. Then we get them into a high school, make a ton more money, but then when you put in bigger machines, you make even more money because of more capacity and better technology. I've got success stories like this all across the country where I've helped my clients get into high foot traffic locations, not just public schools, but also private schools, charter schools, YMCAs, large sports complexes, large gymnastic centers, gyms, athletic clubs, and more. So if you're interested in me mentoring and coaching you, giving the exact blueprint and all the details on how this happens within our Vending Accelerator training platform, we work with my clients every single week in order to do exactly what Joe did. And frankly, it doesn't take that much coaching. You just need a little strategy and need the right tools. So if you're interested in building a six-figure pacing, healthy vending machine business, reach out to us. Let's have a conversation. Maybe we can be working together. Ryan O'Keefe, Vending Accelerator. We'll see you guys next time.